then there is a term called as line probe assays that we need to understand. You, I hope you already know that for microbiology these days we are using a test called as NAAT, Nucleic Acid Amplification Test. Nucleic acid amplification has multiple types and one of the variety of that is line probe assay. So what exactly is line probe assay? They are multiplex NAT assays which employ PCR and reverse hybridization methods for detection of mutations associated with drug resistance. So whenever you have to check for drug resistant tuberculosis, you will be employing line probe assay. So if somebody asks you in one line, what is the use of LPA? They are used to detect anti-tubercular drug resistance, right? There are two generations or two types of LPA which are used. First is first line LPA, also written as FLLPA. They will detect mutations in the RPOB gene, which is responsible in rifampicin resistance. They will detect mutations in CAT G gene and INHA promoter region, which are involved in isoniazid uh, resistance. They are also implicated in ethionamide resistance. So H and R will be checked by, their resistance will be checked by first line LPA. Then we have second line LPA which will detect mutations in the genes GER A and GER B for fluoroquinolone resistance and RRS and EIS which are low level canamine syn resistance for second line uh, drugs, for second line drug resistance in tuberculosis. So these are the first line and second line LPA.